Uh, usually see these hanging around with sea turtles and all that. A little suction cup thing on the top of the head. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this hook out. He got it pretty deep. So I'm gonna be kind to the fish, get him back in there. All right, keep watching. You'll probably recall from my previous video that I did, I don't know, maybe two years ago plus now, back in the day when I lived in Wilmington, North Carolina, I had a video that I put up where I was actually fishing for bluefish and Spanish mackerel, and I was using a mackerel rig, but it just so happens today, I am fishing in a way that I have never fished off of a pier, and that is because I'm actually using a sabiki rig. And um, if you missed the little pop-up on the way in on the video, I did give you a screenshot of a sabiki rig. Um, the previous experience that I've had with a sabiki rig was generally when I'm out on a deep sea charter, or maybe we pass a school of sardines or something like that, and you're trying to catch live bait. That's when you would typically throw a sabiki rig. But on this particular day, on this particular pier, a sabiki rig was actually a rig of choice to catch what I have come to learn to be called bar jack. I think some people were calling them hardtails. Uh, my understanding is that the meat is kind of sweet and that they are, um, I did find out that they are hard fighters. And I did also find out that they hunt in packs. What I mean by that is if you have a four, five, six, eight hook rig on there, if you get one on the line and you wind rather slowly, the others will rally to the fight like they are Beating in a frenzy, if you will. So um, I just found that to be very unique about this fish. And um, yeah, I had a good time uh, doing this. You can see the, the action is very similar to that um, that you would use for a macro rig. Except the macro rig, I think you lift a little more vertical, let it drop. So don't hate me for the technique, but um, I was fishing beside a couple, I wanna say um, probably about my parents' age, maybe in their 60s and they were wearing them out. They were my teachers for the day and uh, they were doing a great job and they actually had the eight rig set up going and they were masters of it. Their rods weren't any longer than mine and uh, I feel like I'm a novice to it so I stayed with the four hooks and that was the action I went with and uh, had pretty good success so I'm happy about it. It was a good outing. Um, about as pretty a place you're going to see as far as water is concerned. This was on the Gulf side. Dolphins in the water. Uh, guys and girls fishing for tarpon up on the end of the pier. All of them are throwing this little, looks like a pretty heavy rig um, with a swim tail type setup. They were in it to win it, let me tell you. And they were just catching these tarpon coming down the pier just to basically say that they could have gaffed them if they wanted to and then they let them go. Um, so you didn't have their friend record it, get a little footage of it and you know they'd send them on their way. So that was um, a pretty cool and unique experience that I had at this particular pier as well so if you are in the area and uh, looking for a cool place to go and you've never been to this particular pier I said go check it out and um, as I did had a great time and actually have a few additional fish in my freezer as a result beautiful sunset footage. Almost a shame for me to be talking over it. But... Here's the haul. Um, these are what they were calling hardtails. So um, I heard that they were really good. I cannot say that I've had them before. So uh, this is going to be a maiden voyage 
on these. So I'm getting ready to get these cleaned up. And um, I don't know how deep they go because this is you know me just taking the lid off of the cooler. Um, I would have to guess that I have somewhere around 50 or more. And um, so you can see that's that's what we're that's what we're working with. Um, so I'm excited. You know, definitely a cool looking fish. Um, I think some people are calling them a bar jack or a hard tail. So, uh, like I said, my first voyage with them, and uh, the guy at the counter said that the meat was sweet. So, uh, we're about to find out. All right, I'll let you know what the final count was. Okay, so I had a pretty good estimate running in my head. The total count that I brought home was 56. So, um, yeah, we're about to find out how they fare. And, um, you know, looking at them, I cut them. They, had, they have a similar look inside to bluefish. I don't know if the bloodline seemed like it was as prominent as it is in bluefish, but um, I'm gonna check them out, prep them a couple of different ways and see what is what, and um, we'll go from there. So, as always, thanks for watching. Be kind to the fish.